how to fix if you are unable to launch Valorant after the update. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel app guide. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how we can fix if we are not being able to launch Valorant after the recent update. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So let's say you updated your Valorant game right and now you're not being able to launch it. There are a couple of ways you can fix this. The very first thing you have to do is from your task bar right over here, just right click and then choose the option called task manager as you can clearly see. Once you open up task manager, just make sure to end any Valorant, Riot games or Riot client processes running in the background. So you might need to scroll down to the Valorant or maybe the Riot games section right over here until you go ahead and then find it. So over here in this case you can see Vanguard right. So right click on it and then choose the option called end task. If there are any other processes as well such as Vanguard, Riot client or anything as such, you want to make sure to simply go ahead and then close those tasks as well. Now if this doesn't help, what you want to do is you want to make sure to update your network adapters. So just go ahead and then launch the device manager app on your PC. So once you go ahead and then simply launch the device manager application, you want to head over to your display adapter section over here. Once you head over to display adapters, make sure that you're using the Nvidia one and then right click on it and choose the option called update drivers. Now, if you are using an Nvidia graphics card, then in that case, you have this application called GeForce by default, right? So just go ahead and open the GeForce experience application in case you don't have it. Uh, make sure to drop a link below as well. When you open the GeForce application, it'll ask you to update your drivers. So you can go ahead and update the drivers through this Nvidia app right over here. If this doesn't help as well, what you simply want to do is just go ahead and open up search menu and here simply type in firewall and network protection, right? You go ahead and open up firewall and network protection. And after you've done that, you have to allow an app through firewall. Just go ahead and open it up. After you allow an app through firewall, make sure to click on the change settings option. Over here, you have to find the option called the Riot Client. And once you find Riot Client over here, you simply want to make sure to enable that. Now, in case you don't find Riot Games or Valorant over here, in that case, you can choose the option called Allow Another App. You can browse to the location of the Valorant application and then you should be able to solve that problem. Now, if this doesn't help, there is only one thing that I can actually recommend you do. And that is that you just go ahead and then simply type in Valorant in the search menu. Once you type in Valorant, right click on it and then choose the option called Open file location and then again what you want to do is right click and then again select open file location right over here you'll come to this page where you have to navigate to write games over here and then go to valorant go to live shooter game binaries win 64 scroll down and then you'll find the option that says valorant win 64 shipping right click on it and then just go to show more options now just go to properties once you go to properties over here, you want to go to compatibility tab. Make sure to run this program as an administrator and then just apply it and then click on OK. And this should definitely solve your problem. Hope this video helps you. If it did help you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you have got any more questions, then make sure to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.